and welcome back to the Wells family journey. I just like to uh, take time and tell everybody hello. Uh, I wound up having a day off today. Uh, I was called into my other job and find out that uh, we weren't going to do anything today. So I turned around home and decided, you know, go to the grocery store, buy some groceries. And now I'm in my backyard to. Uh, Pick some uh, some vegetables that I saw the other day when I was watering it. So I did say I was going to show you guys my garden, and so I think today is a great day to do that. All right, let me get the camera turned around, and we're gonna go go to the garden. And here we are in the backyard. I had uh, previously. Oh, <laughs> there is honey. I'm telling you about honey. One of the dogs that I was missing from the birthday video, but she's in the backyard again. This is her favorite spot during the summer. She's in the backyard. She's just been like almost all day. Hi, honey. Yeah, I'm talking about you. It's been all day outside, <laughs> rolling around the grass, enjoying the sun. So we got a few little things. Yeah, my grass is dying. I'm not going to water. It costs too much money to water the grass. Here. Almost $300 a month <laughs> when I decide to try and water my grass. So, uh, let's see here. I, let me get this out of my hand. Uh, earlier, I came out and picked a few blueberries off the blueberry bush. I'll show you that later. See, in this pot, we have uh, ginger. I had planted three ginger bulbs, and I tried to get some ginger growing. Uh, it had gotten real, real high. Maybe about a foot or two high. And then it just fell over and stopped growing so I don't know if I killed off that plant or not I probably did but then the other two just finally started growing you know unfortunately here in Washington our growing season is almost over we have a very short growing season you know we don't get a lot of warm weather here you know I joke with people and I say we only get like two weeks of warm weather in Washington but uh you know so I tried to plant my garden earlier this year this is an experiment. Um, I started sweet potato uh, shoots. I think that's what these are called, Sh sweet potato shoots. Um, so just to keep it alive, we, we planted it in here. Uh, maybe on my next day off, I'm going to get a bigger pot and try to replant it. Just see if we can do something. It was just an experiment for, for this year. And in this one, uh, this is not my garden, by the way. I'm just showing you some extra things. This is a Filipino onion, long onion that we got growing. This, I really don't know what I planted here. Uh, the thing says eggplant, Filipino eggplant, so who knows? I'm going to find out. <laughs> and same thing with this. I don't think Filipino eggplant or long onion is also in this. We have some banana plants that... Christie's trying to grow. I don't think they're going to grow here in Washington, but who knows? And here's two more banana plants. So we have three banana plants total. All right. And over here, I have some homemade deer repellent, <laughs> rabbit and deer repellent. I got that off of YouTube and I might have to start spraying. I'll show you guys why in a minute. This, I do not know what in the world this is. This just started growing here. If anybody knows what this is, please leave a comment. Because I, I want to pull it up, but I see that something is flowering here. So I don't know if it's a zucchini or squash. I know a couple years ago, my daughter did plant a vegetable here. I think it was like cantaloupe. And it grew. Then I thought I took everything up. And yeah, so that was about three, four years ago. So... That's interesting that it'll show back up after so long. I don't know. And this thing here, I don't know. We bought this at a nursery. Let's see if I can get this thing. See if this is supposedly a honeyberry bush. So this has been growing in this spot for shoot five, six years now. And I have not had any fruit come over it. And you know, I've YouTubed honeyberry bushes, you know, it's acid-loving bush, and I've tried it. You know, I've, I've tried 
giving it more acid. I've tried different fertilizers and I cannot get this bush to fruit. So this was a, I don't know if y'all can see that. Mm, I think you can see that. Yeah, a tundra honeyberry bush. Yeah, so <laughs> like I said, it's been here for about six years and nothing has come of it. No fruit, it just stays green and gets bigger. It's a little bit smaller this year, probably because I haven't been watering it. Uh, this was where our apple tree was. Got some fruits. I'm trying to trying to grow grapes. I've been trying this for about three years now. Trying to grow grapes. But every time they grow, they get nice and viney and green. When winter comes, it just dies out and everything just dies. And it's like I start start back from something that looks looks like this again every year. So I, I don't know what I'm doing wrong. Here we have about three three plants of a. Uh, raspberries I want to get get these in the ground and find a permanent spot for them in the backyard but yeah these, these were doing good and you know I forgot to, to water the garden for a whole week this year and the garden just decided to start dying <laughs> I'm trying to bring it back this is our blueberry bushes I think I have like three or four different variety of blueberries in here this little pot I will try and uh, get this into the ground soon, but yeah, this blueberry bush is doing very good this year. Uh, I think this is like the third, third handful that we've got so far this summer. And my strawberries are not doing good this year. But yeah, so I had three hanging strawberry plants. They, my strawberries, they they grew vegetation. I think I got maybe about a total of 10, 10 or 12 strawberries from these plants this year. Then they just stopped fruiting and then they died. So I don't know what's going on there. Hey, Shotzi, how you doing? Oh, this was Shotzi. You couldn't see Shotzi in the video. The video. No, I'm not going to rub you. It's tummy right now. We're doing a video about the garden. I'm not here to play. <laughs> and this is going to be the blackberry bush section right here so blackberries are doing good I need to, to tie it up so I can run up the trellis here a cattle wire trellis now I bought the cattle wire because someone told me oh this is good for trellising you know it's a cheap alternative than buying the actual trellis so I did that and they told me yeah you don't gotta worry about it resting well I'm sure y'all can see that it is rested I'm not happy didn't even take one one uh one whole year and they're rusty so i don't know what's going on with that so let's walk in into my dirty garden area for right now it's like i just don't have time to get it clean so here's what here's my garden area these bags i got coffee grinds in here from uh dutch brothers a little shout out to dutch brothers if anyone's from dutch brothers watching this so uh, thank you for the coffee grinds I get. Here's my compost piles. This is a big compost pile. It doesn't look like it, but this was uh, the one I started last year. It has broken down and it's ready to uh, add to the to the vegetable beds at the end of this grows, growing season. And then I started a second compost bin over here. So I switch it every year. So one one year, about 12 months, I, you know, we. We add all our vegetable, paper scraps, coffee grinds, uh, fruit scraps, grass clippings in here. And we, you know, we turn it, let it sit, turn it, let it sit for a whole entire year. So what I like to do for each year, so this one should be ready by maybe May or June next year. If I can tell you, I gotta, I really gotta get in here and clean this area up. Just got to get some time. Got a rain barrel. Haven't really done much. It's full of rain water. I really haven't done too much. And this is a my first strawberry bed. Now, there is a lot of strawberry plants in here, but there are no strawberries. It's like they tried growing them, and then nothing happened. I even, what you see now, this is maybe not even, I don't know. I, I took maybe like 
60% of plants out of here. I replanted in a different area of the yard. And then more plants grew. So I don't know why. But yeah, it's, it's like full. I got a whole bunch of vegetation and no strawberries. I'm like, what in the world? I got strawberries last year, but none this year. And this one, I have like a, like three or four different varieties of strawberries supposed to be growing in here. It's like here, I don't know if you can see that, but it started to grow strawberries and nothing happened. They like dried out or something. And right here we have our asparagus bush and I planted this last summer maybe April or May and they grew this year I think they grew pretty good I think I got one harvest from it and then decided to let them grow grow bigger taller and thicker so next year hopefully hopefully there'll be a thicker uh, asparagus shoot so we're just letting it grow to fern I might try if I can never get the the seeds to grow from it nice and good I might try and harvest the seeds so I can uh, plant it somewhere else and get some more asparagus years down the line tomato plants got a little bit of tomatoes growing you can see those over there and little ch cherry tomatoes yeah, I didn't want to plant any any big tomatoes this year. It's like we we had we do good with tomatoes in the backyard. So I was just trying like little itty bitty cherry tomatoes this year, because we got big tomatoes last year, but you know they're just so big, we might have only got maybe twenty the whole entire growing season. So I was like, yeah, let's just try some small bush cherry tomatoes. So yeah, we got some good cherry tomatoes growing I had garlic garlic growing right here it like I said I, I forgot to uh, water the garden for like a week I think it was maybe about four days and I came back and everything was <laughs> yelling at me and they're crying because I didn't water them so I'm trying to bring everything back we have some zucchini excuse me eggplant growing here and it's not really growing I got some more garlic here in the corner it's not really it's not really going got some pepper plants Hungarian hot wax pepper plants we got about 10 of those and I've only seen two peppers <laughs> since they've been in ground and like I said I started it early this year thinking that I was gonna get a better harvest but nothing happened so I was out here the other day watering all these and I saw a whole bunch of uh, green beans on on the green bean plant over here and while I was watering you know I guess one friendly neighborhood squirrels jumped on the fence and just started watching me water the garden you know cute little cute little thing I was like hey, hey squirrel how you doing mind it's business I mind it my own and then I come out here today to pick my green beans because these things are full of green beans they're just hanging down <laughs> And I had no green beans. <laughs> so I guess the squirrel saw what I was doing and realized that he had some stuff. Oh, uh, what is this? Hmm. Cucumber. Yeah, I didn't think these were going to do anything this year. They're trying to do something. Got a little cucumber there. I don't know if you see that. But yeah, we had like four cucumber plants. Now we have like five or six. So I don't know if they're growing somewhere else and... and going over but yeah where are these these are snap beans snap beans blue lake bush I don't know if you can read that but that's what those were over here but I guess they're the squirrels food for now and we have squash growing here in this corner I tried to grow some yellow onions that didn't go very good and I had a whole bunch of uh ginger or not ginger garlic growing here so I don't know if it's still growing underneath the dirt I might have to dig it up and take a look but yeah, I had about I had about 15 20 shoots growing for my garlic now I barely have anything growing in this section over here of course 
green onions. I had some chives, but they died. I might dig this up when I get some, some more free time. Get the dead stuff out. Clean a little bit, but yeah. Green onions. And over here is my herbs. I have a... Uh, oh, there's a bee over there for right now. I hate bees. <laughs> well, I guess, guess it's doing good. The bees like it. It's all good, huh? Let's see. We got another bee. I don't know if you see him. Yeah, he's he's up there. So yeah, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna touch that. <laughs> but uh, I think this is oregano right here. Oregano, got thyme in the back. Try not to get stung. I I have a phobia of bees and wasps. I I hate those things. I say that's thyme back there. And we have rosemary here. This is a Filipino vegetable. I don't know what in the world this is. Wife gave it to me. I guess she had bought it from the store, cooked cook some of it, and was like, plant it, see if it will grow. So I did. It's growing. Don't know what the heck it is. You know, it was really, really small. Kind of like this one here when I had planted it, and it looked like all these. So I was like, I don't know if it's going to grow. <laughs> I thought caterpillars are going to eat them all, but they're, they're doing good got peppermint one of my peppermint plants here started dying on me too so I don't know what I'm doing wrong with that I had to take it out of the area right here where that stick was because it was it was spreading so I was like okay you're spreading too much let me put you in this little bucket set you to the side I got some climbing beans here I didn't want to pick these but I might do that tonight they're nice and fat what are these, snow peas, I think? But yeah, we had like four or five bushes of snow peas. And then this section was my potato section. Oh, yeah, this was full of nice leafy greens, and they're just slowly dying. Uh, so, yeah, I'm going to dig these potatoes up this season. Get some good, uh, good soil and compost put in here, and I'm going to fill up these, these beds. For another two years of growing so it should be good yeah so I had asparagus and spinach in here in this bed this season but someone left the gate <laughs> the gates open and all my spinach was gone watered it one night closed it up came back next day next day or so watered it again closed it I know my kids were in there because they were talking about peppermint bush, taking some peppermint and some uh, rosemary. And then the very next day when I came back to water it, I had no spinach. So, so yeah. Oh, let me try and prop these up some more. They're all fluttering over. But this one has a few seeds growing, little berries growing. So. I don't know too much about uh, asparagus ferns here, the leafy green, but hey, someone let me know, is this safe to use in cooking, the fern part, because I do know that the seeds are not, I know the seeds are poisonous if, to us if we try to eat it, but does anybody know if the fern is okay? I want to say it is. <laughs> My daughter came out here and clipped some of it and used it on some baked fish she was, she was cooking. So, and we're still alive. So, yeah, I'm guessing it's okay to eat the, the fern part of the bush, but not the berries. And yeah, so this is my little garden. I'm hoping that when we get to a better area, I can make a bigger garden and have the stuff growing hopefully all year round. That's my main goal. It's one of my life dreams is to have a functioning, functional garden that I can come in and take whatever I want from it all year long. But being in Washington, that is, that is not possible. Okay. Shotsy. So this was a Korean pear tree. It started growing pears, so then I put the bird netting on it. And as soon as I put the netting on it, it stopped producing, producing fruit. 
So we didn't even get any cream pears from it this year. I don't, I don't know what happened. But yeah. Better luck next year, I guess. This was our cherry tree. I'm kind of mad about this cherry tree this year. I, I wouldn't even say the tree. But I'm mad at myself. Um, <clears throat> we had a lot of cherries growing on this tree this year. But uh, we, we got attacked by aphids. And... You know, it took me it took me about two three weeks before I finally decided to to get rid of the aphids to to see what I can do to get rid of those aphids. Man, we got a lot of bees back here today. That's good. Keep pollinating my yard, <laughs> get more fruit and flowers. And by the time I got out here, you know, I had to cut off some some of the cherries, get rid of them, and cut off a couple of the tree uh tree leaves and whatnot and uh we, we i think we got maybe about maybe about 100 cherries off this tree after i decided to kill aphids but i'm sure we could have got at least 200 more if i would have acted quicker and got rid of those aphids and that infestation got shotzi over here sniffing the flowers and this area I planted, oh, we got a potato sticking up over here. I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, a little potato right there. But I had planted this area, I think it was last summer, to try and keep the, the rabbits away from my main area. So over here I got potatoes growing, some more green onions, some, some herbs, peppermint, uh, rosemary. I think that's, I don't know, I think that's oregano as well over here. That's oregano, Italian oregano right there. And I had uh, put in this little section right here, I don't know if you can see that, in that section right there, I had planted strawberry plants. And they didn't grow very good this year. So I don't, I don't know what happened. But yeah, I planted this section over here for the rabbits, and whatever else we had hopping around my backyard that ate up my, my garden in the years prior. And I have berry bush, raspberry bush growing out throughout the fence. So what I'm thinking is some of the birds ate my, my raspberries and blackberries last year and decided to <laughs> leave me a surprise behind this fence line because I have raspberries growing through the fence line. <laughs> but yeah, just a little small look of my garden area. Excuse the dead grass. This is, what, this is what I have. This is my little garden area. A little peace and quiet for me when I want it. <laughs> but all right. Thank you for tuning in to the Wells Family Journey. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button and also the bell notification for more videos of what's going on in our lives. Thank you. Stay loved. Love one another. Be kind. See you on the next video.